Hey guys, this is Nico and today I'm gonna offer a solution to the problem with Facebook ads and meta ads or Instagram ads or whatever you want to call them that we all have. If you're following what's happening, if you're managing your ads, you probably know that there is a big problem with Facebook ads. A lot of people are experiencing high CPMs, a lot of people are experiencing high cost per result. For a lot of people, Facebook ads or Instagram ads is not a reliable platform anymore. But there is a guy on Reddit that says he got the solution. So I'm gonna open Reddit and I'm gonna share what I mean because the solution might be here, the solution might be right here for you. And I'm gonna show you how to implement it step by step. I'm gonna show you what I think about this solution. I'm gonna share if I'm implementing this solution. So all you need to do is watch this video till the end or if you don't wanna run profitable ads, just leave this video. So RC Williams on Reddit, he says, how we fix crappy meta performance in the last 30 days. He says, hey guys, we're right there with everyone on the crappy meta performance last 30 days or so. Really since February 20th, it has tanked. There was a period when something happened with Facebook ads. Facebook were down, Instagram was down. So this affected ad delivery. And since then, CPMs just exploded. Budgets were spent within, a, within an hour. So there was something wrong with Facebook. So this guy, RC Williams goes and says, we had been spending profitable five to 8K per day, no problem. Since February 20th, we tanked to unprofitable 2K per day, pretty much overnight. And it really took a toll on the business. We are very meta reliant as we are a young business and single channel focused. So basically we're in the same boat here. Your business might have multiple channels. You might be doing Facebook ads, Instagram ads. Twitter ads, TikTok ads, but if you're like us, the mere models marketers or the mere models business owners, probably Facebook ads is your best platform. So RC Williams goes also and says, we had been spending entirely a single ACC campaign on lowest cost bidding. That campaign had spent over 500,000 in ad spend and data, and it just tanked. These people know what they're doing. They're spending a decent amount of money. Five to 8K per day is a lot for many, many small businesses. They spent almost half a million on a campaign. And all of a sudden this campaign was working, but on the next day results went down. And here he offers the solution. He says, what is the actual solution they implemented? So just last week we duplicated the campaign, made a lot of changes we had been wanting to make from the last month and added a cost control to the campaign our target cpa and jacked up the budgets back to where they were here's what happened they are spending 8k per day on sales on 20th of february sales stopped coming in so they decreased the budget and with the solution what he says is they implement a new bidding strategy but what did they also do? They put the budget to where it used to be. So I'm gonna show you what he means. I'm gonna show the solution that he implemented. So what he did, he went to the business manager, he clicked on create new campaign. He chose his objective. I assume his objective is sales. So he selected a sales campaign and where it says advantage shopping campaign, this is what he selected because in his uh, thread, he says AC, ASC plus advantage shopping campaign. So I'm gonna click next. And where it says bid control, where it says bid control, this is the option that you have by default. And Meta will spend all of your money if you have this option. So what they did, the solution he offers is to use bid control. So here you need to enter the cost per result that you can afford. So do you see what happened after once I entered $50 here? Here it says Meta will aim to get the most conversions and try to keep the average cost around $50. Some results might cost more, some results might cost less, but Meta on average will try to get you cost per result around $50. And this is what they implemented. They implemented bid control or CPA the way he calls it and it started working for them. But what they also did, they returned the budget to what they were spending. So they lowered it to 2K per day, but after they implemented the bid control, they put the budget where they used to be. They used to be at 8K. So there is a problem to this solution. It's not that simple. When you implement a solution, usually there is a problem within 
the solution. So he says, now the bad performance is just low spend and low volume, not tanking cross. The CPA is back to where it used to be, but the sales volume went down by 40%. We're actually having pretty profitable days, not that far off our target. So this could be something that will work for you. This is something that I also implemented in a campaign I said this morning. So if you want to give this strategy to lower your cost, just try it, try it out for you, see how it works, what you need to do when you're at the Facebook business manager, just use the bit control and pretty much you'll be able to do it. On some days, Facebook might not be spending the budget. So I made another video what to do if Facebook ads is not spending the budget. I'm gonna leave it somewhere on the screen so you can click it. There is actually a lot of comments. Let's see what other people are saying. R Jealous Raisin 423 says, this is a great strategy. Thanks for sharing. I might give this a go. I've created a new ASC plus campaigns this week and I'm starting to see lower cost overall. I'm wondering if the algo is readjusting. Either way, I advise my client to run a sale this week. So we're seeing really great performance thus far. We'll see how things go. This guy says that he's getting a better result, but here we're not really sure if it's because of how he set the campaigns or if it's because they're running a sale. Usually when you have a promotion campaign, when you're running a sale, when you're doing a launch, when you have a special limited time offer only type of product, you're gonna see a much greater results. This guy asked, how do you set caps on ASC campaigns? He set the caps on ASC campaigns the way I showed you. When he went and when he clicked create a campaign, he chose sales, then he chose ASC campaign. So he clicked continue and where it says bit control, he entered the CPA that they can afford. For you might be $50, for some people might be a hundred, for, for some people might be eight dollars. So feel free to change the bit control. And this is the strategy that this guy implemented. Another guy says, have you tried Ross goals? Our CPA doesn't matter as much as purchases can be from 30 to 250. He have actually never tried it before. Our offer user AOV is very stable. So I also never tried Ross. The problem with Ross, when you use this strategy, you need to have your pixel in place. You need to be 100% sure that your pixel is tracking correct correctly. You need to have the KP copy or whatever integration they call it. You need to set all those things. I'm also implementing this strategy right now. Earlier this day, I set a campaign. I'm gonna show you how it goes. Maybe, maybe not, because I don't really wanna share my data. So if you really wanna get good with Facebook ads, check out my online courses, link in the description below. And this is why I make videos, guys. I make videos to sell my online courses and I don't really care, I don't feel it and I don't feel guilty about it, but this is just the reality.